just one ball player, but it takes nine ball players to win. What does that mean? It's not how much money you make, it's how you work and play as a team, just like any other thing, just like a city, just like the media, just like all of us. But when you look at baseball in Tampa, you go back 100 years, they were already playing baseball in Tampa. And when you look at the rich history of how many ball players come from Tampa that made it to the majors, it's really astonishing. You look at Dwight Gooden, Luis Gonzalez, Fred McGriff, Gary Sheffield, Wade Boggs, Tony La Russa, Lou Pinella, Al Lopez, Cino Martinez, Sammy Militello, Darren Spann, Jody Reed, Carl Everett, Kevin Cash, who, by the way, Kevin went to Gaither and was coached by the fellow that I played in the same ball team with, and he was a great coach. He was a great, great guy, and we're sorry to uh, have, have missed him. He passed away not too long ago, and uh, it's just one of those things that happens in life. But when you look at Derek Bell, Steve Garvey, Jeff Carter, and Ossie Timmons, those are about 20 of the 80-some players that come from Tampa. When we were small, that first baseman, just like Bayshore team here, we were about that size. And Team Tampa certainly is what life is about. It teaches you how to win, and more importantly, it teaches you how to lose. But when you look at baseball alone, and you look at all the players that have made it, all the players that have played it, those that didn't succeed, succeeded in life. Because there's always life after baseball. Baseball was the only thing we had when we were growing up in Ybor City. You had teams that come from all over the country to play, and we played at Cascaden Park. Cascaden Park was so popular, along with West Tampa and other parks that were of that age, because we only had baseball parks, or a park to play in. We didn't have no TV, we didn't have computers, we didn't have cell phones. But we had one thing in common. We had a place to go to play, and that was Cascaden Park. And out of that park comes two Hall of Famers. I don't know of any other park in the country. Maybe there is a park in the country that's got two Hall of Famers. But certainly, Mr. Lopez, Senor Al Lopez, was the first one to be in the Hall of Fame for Cascaden. And the second one was our shortstop that we played together for many years, Tony La Russa. But when you have a team effort, like the Rays have, it's not about payroll. Payroll is only a number, but you have nine individuals on the field and another 15 or 18 on the bench. That's what makes baseball a team. The Rays have a team, and you got to give credit to them, to their scouting, to the operation, what they have. They teach the kids how to play. I saw a game the other day with Rowe pitch against the Yankees, and in 14 pitches he struck out three Yankees because he knew how to change up and put the ball in play and let the, the game begin. But so many things happen because of baseball. In Cascade Park, you look around and you say, in fact, Cascade Park doesn't even have a baseball diamond anymore, soccer, which is great. And uh, when you look at those things, I can name you all the players that I played with and it take you forever. But the history of Tampa is rich in baseball sports because at the time in that era is all you had. And thanks to the Tampa Department of Sports the recreation department that taught us they had a recreation player and they really did well teaching us. Baseball is full of fun, but Tampa is full of baseball and Rays are going to go a lot further when people gave them the opportunity. I, I love baseball and uh, it's a thing that has to happen in, all the time. It teaches you how to win and how to lose. And Joe, thank you for being here. He's uh, with the Bay Shore. I think he's going to be uh, their shortstop this year. He finally turned seven. But thank you for being here. The history of baseball is always with us. And uh, it's so many things I could talk about each individual player, but we don't have time for that. It's for these kids that are here. And thank God that they're still playing. Thank God that our parks for little leaguers and boys and girls both are doing their exercises and playing as a team. You learn how to win. More importantly, you learn how to lose. And when you lose, you get up and you start winning again. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it very much. All right, thank you, Charlie. Charlie is the ultimate baseball fan. And uh, some of the young players back here, I won't say who, wanted to know if Charlie was actually around 100 years ago when baseball came to the city. So, Charlie, I told him for sure you weren't around 100 years ago. But uh, anyway, thanks again to everybody coming out this evening or this, uh, this morning. 
all the days are running together. But this really is an exciting time, and you see the young players behind us. And one of the things, uh, athletics has a, a, a place in my heart. For me, that is where I learned life skills, and it really is all those lessons I learned on the court and out on the field are really what brought me to the point that I'm at today. So I thank all of the coaches. I thank the parents because I know that you give up your free time to go out and really mold these young kids. And as Charlie said, you know, it, it's about winning, but also where do you learn those lessons? It really is in getting yourself back up, dusting yourself off, being a good sport. So thank you to everyone who uh, is a coach or is involved in uh, helping steer these young people into a very, very wonderful life that is grounded in solid uh, values. Thanks all to, also to our Parks and Recreation because they are the ones that put on the multitude of programs that allow the kids to come out, not only stay healthy, get exercise, but also to be involved in these team sports where you can learn those life skills. So I thank each and every one of you. I thank all of our players. So I think all the players need to come up here because now we are going to raise the flag over City Hall, which is going to be a definite, definite sign that we are winning the World Series. So come on up here because we got to look back that way. All right, you guys, we're going to one, two, three, raise the flag. One, two, three, raise that flag. Woo, go raise. Awesome. Now we need a little win. We raise the flag. Now we're going to go around and drop the banner. Thank you guys very much.